worked on the data annotation platform for the last couple of months, and it's really been life-changing. As soon as I passed the qualifications for the programming work, I've been in love. Not only do I enjoy it, but it's worth it.
Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me know, let me know the audio levels. Music up. Music down. Mic up, mic down. How's it going? 75, wow. This is sweet. Hearing you loud and clear. Sweet, sweet. Music down at all? Oh. Let me... My face can be on the chat. Oh, the chat's real transparent. Might be better when I open up a, a file. But yeah. Welcome, welcome to the first official Pixels with Pen. The first, I know last week a lot of you were in here and it was, it was a successful quick stream. It ended up being two hours just messing around, but this is the official one and we're going to go over character designs today. Probably going to drink a lot of water, but yeah, if you have a Sprite or, or a pixel program, open it up. I want you to follow along um, and just go through everything with me. Today we're probably going to make a ton of characters. We're going to go through different styles, um, different palettes, just kind of the whole process, you know, different themes and everything. We're going to go through it all. So we're probably going to have over 10 characters, even more var variations of that character. So follow, follow along. I'll try to keep up with the chat as much as possible, but it seems to be pretty bumping right now, which is good. And one thing, once we get the character designs, we'll talk about what will work with animating them, what ones would be harder, which ones would be easier, and so on. And if you're in the Discord, I'll post I'll post a link. We can post your character. I can, I can even throw it up on, on the stream. And I can kind of tackle some of those. As long as there's not too many. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I can definitely look at some of your character designs and we can talk about how we might go about animating them, what I would change and whatnot. A little critique, but, but yeah, so let's, let's slowly get started. Like I said, we're going to do a ton of characters. I have the stream avatars, but it looks like it just has my character. I used to use it on Twitch. I didn't put too much effort in into the stream avatar, so and maybe it's not connecting to YouTube properly. But we'll figure that out probably next stream. I'm not gonna waste time. Um, sticker the Discord invite. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that first and foremost. Invite. Let's copy that. Copied. So yeah, join the Discord to share your designs, um, and others can give feedback. I can give feedback. I'll probably pick some, grab some at the end of the stream. And Mohammed says, "Where would I upload my character? You can upload it on the Discord, and you can send the A spray file or just the exported file. I'll just." Throw it in, not exploded, just that normal 100%. I'm gonna pin this comment. Well, oh, I think I need to do it. Learned this last time. We need to pin it in the actual thing. But okay, let's open a new canvas. The first step, if you're in A Sprite, or whatever program you're in, let's go to new. I start on 192 by 192. I don't exactly know why. I think it was a good size that fit on Instagram back when I started. Um, sizes vary on social media platforms. So let's start with, but I still use it. We can just adjust later on. So the chat looks good. Maybe I'll, I'm gonna 
roll it so it's a bit a bit maybe up here more for visuals but yeah let's open your canvas you can try to follow along if i'm going too fast um just mention it i'll try to slow down but we're going to be doing the these steps over and over again for for each character and kind of a theme and i can actually actually i'll write them out i'm going to make a bunch of layers shift n is a quick quick way to make layers i'm using mouse and keyboard and this top layer i'm just going to put text and this will be mainly for you guys and i'm just going to go i'm just going to write out these steps that i'm going to be I'm going to be going over and over. Where did you begin your journey with pixel art? Um, it was actually when my, my son was born and I had some time off with him. My wife and I, we split six months, six months, which was cool for me. And while he napped, I started doing pixel art. This was four, four or five years ago. And then it became more than just a hobby but yes step one ref references and ideas that's the first and i'll show you the program i use i use pure ref and you just have reference on what you're doing, whatever character you're doing. And we don't exactly know what character we're going for today. And that's kind of, we're just brainstorming. We're doing everything together so we can see the entire process. But you can see, here are some of my Shogun characters. These are just kind of silhouettes, or not silhouettes, these kind of poses and stuff I like. And again, we're going to do a bunch of designs, not just one. Pure ref, yeah. Pure ref is awesome. But I will be, that will be on my other monitor. And from time to time, I'll be looking over there. Chat's also over there. So I'll be reading that. Hi. Hi, everyone. Um, but yes, step one, reference and your idea. So we have a lot of ideas. We can do a tiny hero, which is um, kind of a little hero style I do in the Dark Series. We can do Dark Series enemy or... Kind of we can do a shogun showdown style we can use that palette and kind of do that style as well um we can do cyberpunk style which is kind of a new series that has one pack that i haven't really done much but we can we can do that um and then ideas we can do you know space cowboys samurais i, I wrote some stuff down we can do um blood king again kind of a different version maybe make it better these are just some ideas we're gonna we're gonna go through them all what color palette to use so i use this this is the dark series palette we're gonna be using this a bit and i can throw that in the discord if it's not up to date though But we're not going to just be using that. We're going to be using Apollo on, um, that's uh, Adam C. Cousins palette. We're going to be using that a bit. If you go to Lost Pick and type in Apollo, we'll be using this palette a bit. And then maybe we'll just do some freehand too. So step two, the silhouettes. May have spelt silhouettes wrong, but that's okay. We're gonna be doing the silhouettes and a strong silhouette is a huge start to a character design. Um, step three, 
that is figuring out the what palette what colors we want to use style and everything and the style kind of like the theme if you're doing a cowboy you're gonna see cowboy hat maybe maybe some, some gun guns in the silhouette a bit but step three is just kind of that's kind of just refining and figuring those out so the style color um etc and basically with these characters we're gonna we're gonna go through these steps i'll keep these up here and 112 viewers holy jumpins that is awesome show turnout so yeah we're gonna be basically going through these steps over and over and some might be variations i'm gonna keep every variation i should bring up uh quickly i'll bring up some shogun's work and kind of there's one large one here a large scene but these are kind of like when we go through the steps, we'll do variations, and then you can see here, just kind of tinkering with little details until you find something you like. You can see this guy's small head, eventually. Small head, bigger head, you know, and then we completely covered his head because we didn't like his head. And then enemies and so, so forth. So we'll be going through all of these. Like we'll be doing the same thing, kind of variations of that character. So let's get started. We'll finally get started. Where's Mike Tyson? So basically, I'm going to start with a background as normal. And let's do, let's start with some kind of tiny hero ideas. So right now we have a tiny hero with a sword, one with a gun, and a little kind of mage. So let's work on ideas on getting strong silhouettes for for a tiny hero and you can also bring if you have old designs like these are the dark packs we can bring up the sage and we're eventually going to have this entire thing character like this but for now we're going to flatten this and not save it and we're just going to keep this tiny hero on our workspace to know the size and this is a 16 by 16 square you can see down here so that's kind of the rough size we're gonna aim for for these tiny characters I'm gonna exit this so I don't save over it because I flattened it Where did I learn pixel art? Really like your style, thank you. Uh, yes, I learned pixel art just on YouTube following and games in general. I always like games with pixel art. But yeah, let's, let's start before we get too carried away. Let's just do kind of rough bodies shapes. So perhaps we want we want, if you want a character with that kind of samurai hat, you just go about like so, and you already have a silhouette. Simple silhouette like that. When, when it's this small, anyone else get an ad? I do have ads playing. They'll be random. I wonder how that, I'll look into that works. I wonder if I can control it more and say, if I go pee, I can just place an ad. Um, but I won't look into it right now. Unless it happens too much, let me know, uh, Goose. But yeah, so you get a silhouette like this and you basically already have, like that could be a character. And we're just gonna copy and paste it and we can alter it a bit. You can make it taller. With a funky head, perhaps. Mm -hmm. 
And these are just basically, you're just getting ideas out there. What silhouette catches your eye the most? You can do, try different things like this. Brutal Bandit. Appreciate the tutorial. I appreciate the super thanks or whatever that's called. Super. Celebrate first super. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate that. Davis. Davis with the sunglasses. I see you. Thanks for joining, Davis. Perhaps um, with the supers, if you want, I'm going to try to any any submissions in the Discord. Um, I'm going to try to bring on stream at the end. But if you really want um, yours to be displayed, I will prioritize the supers over the other ones. Um, Maybe that's that's a way to use a super, but I don't wanna don't wanna make that necessary. I will try to tackle most of them, unless there's like hundreds. But yeah, so let's let's keep going with silhouettes. Let's this is all kind of robe robe like robe like <laughs> these all have robes. So let's let's try to get some some feet in there and kind of go. And the thing is with with my characters. A lot of the time it's the animations that kind of sell the whole thing so these these uh small silhouettes might not look that great but once we get to the animation part which is next week because today's just all on the design we can we can really start working out the characters style and getting giving it that that uniqueness and that's that's cool and you can mess around with swords kind of get an idea you know what if what if this guy has a big sword on the side that looks like a gun um do you use drawing a tablet i for for animation and smaller pixels i use a mouse and keyboard yeah you can hear the clicks <laughs> um for large landscapes i'll get out this little little drawing tablet the wacom and i i'll use that for larger landscapes that i don't do as much a whip using joel says um suggests a whip using character uh that's really cool i think i'll avoid a whip using character because for those that are following that's uh that's a little bit more difficult whips have a very unpredictable um way of or movement so animating them can be a bit more on the difficult end so out of these silhouettes here let's let's do a few more you kind of just you know you you pick one eventually. And like I said, with, with this size, silhouettes, their poses aren't going to be too dynamic. Once you start getting to a bigger size, you'll see more kind of definition in that pose in the silhouette. But it's still good for practice. still still good for practice to uh you know just go through the process because if you do get into that 64 by 64 animation that's and we're probably not going to go that big just because it takes longer it's harder and this is more aimed towards the easier side for animation but once once you get say you know this big and you have a character you can already see the characters pose is much more it's going to be much more dynamic and you'll just continue to shape it like so but we'll, we'll go bigger we'll go bigger than these tiny heroes but for this little session for the first 20 minutes or so 
we will kind of tackle this size. So do any of these stand out to anyone? Does anyone, does it look like we want to go that route with one of these? And obviously you're going to have a more thought out idea of character perhaps than than this because we're just kind of brainstorming together like the last one a lot like number three number three yeah number five barrel carrying guy or something and and it's also good you know it sparks ideas drawing these silhouettes to me we'll we'll, we'll tackle a few of these actually um okay this guy kind of looks like about to go underwater it's got a big submarine or sub mask what is it called but he looks like he could be cute kind of a little mask but let's do a few of these let's uh let's now start working downwards so we'll, we'll branch off and we'll do this uh, I'll call this the main layer. Diving suit, that's what it's called. Yeah, diving suit. But let's go ahead and start plucking in colors. And I'm kind of just going to go with the flow with colors for this. Uh, let's do kind of a blue. So I should, before I jump into colors, good way is to start. I'm Brazilian, see you on Twitter. So F-bomb, amazing. Yes, using the line tool. I use the line tool quite a bit, it's good. But how's that? It might be, that shading might be a little too close to see on stream. But before you get into color, you can you can kind of start shading as well. That gives you a good idea of just kind of of where you're gonna go with with this character. And this is pretty. This is very dark series esque. So a lot of my characters have this kind of tone. Which is kind of cool. Dark red is always always cool. Make him a little evil. And for shading, you can always have one side. So the side furthest away. So this this in this case this right right hand side it's gonna be kind of darker. So what I like to do, and you can see in a lot of these characters, you can see the, where's a good example? This guy, you can see his right arm here is a lot brighter than his left. And that's a good way to shade. Basically, you're just taking the side that's like closest to the camera, to the viewer. So in that case, it would be us. And Kind of an easy way to explain it is literally just you go like this take this side and then control u um and then if you go to the l which is lightness and literally just tone that down and you bring up the one to one we didn't have already you can see how dark that and that's like how dark you want to go it all just depends on kind of the style of your game but that's an easy way to, you know, really make a character. And that's even more dark. 
might not want to go go that dark but yes that's that's what i mean why we're shading one side light and one side dark any chance we could see a style of your pig assassin uh yes that's pig assassin uses the apollo palette so we can definitely do we can do right after we do some of these we can do a character some kind of animal assassin like an animal with a weapon pig maybe a turtle maybe a frog a sheep a sheep would be cool a sheep warrior we can definitely do that but yes this is kind of the dark crab mutant <laughs> you also work on larger sprite characters i do but most of my characters are around the 16 by 16 24 32 64 is probably the max but let's keep continuing i'm gonna read a couple comments here and here here and there but for the most part um i do want to focus on on the design so this is also doing the hat so you can see here we have we have um the light side and the dark side and then on this on layer six, I'm going to call it just smaller details. And I spelled that wrong. Details, like so. So on smaller details, we're going to put, we're going to do, like this is, this would be like a sword dweller, little tiny, tiny hero. Hyper light drifter is around 32 by 32. Yeah, maybe a bit smaller, but basically, so four squares is 32 by 32. You can see down here. And hyper light drifter would be right in there. So we'll probably, we'll do bigger than 16 by 16. And well, my most of my characters are in this range between the 16 and the 32 by 32. And then we can once you have some some shading down, and this is kind of the dark series uses kind of kind of dark colors mostly but you can do some different kind of styles you can expand that character itself if you want a taller character or you can perhaps put this cape behind him and now we have a taller version What size do you find mine to canvas says what size do you find you can do you can um wait what with that size do you find that you can or a lot more characters faster um yeah smaller is definitely faster but when you get smaller definitely 16 by 16 <laughs> 16 by 16 is you're kind of more restricted. It's it's more difficult to, you know, animate smooth characters. But with practice, make more. Stupid off. <laughs> yeah. Mind to mind, make more. Yeah. Definitely smaller is easier overall, but it's more restrictive. Um, the bigger you go, the more time consuming it will be. But you can get more dynamic poses. So if you're good, if you're good with a... Uh, you know, making those poses, if you're a good drawer, I think you can make some good animations. Because for me, I think I'm stronger on the animation size. If I were to do larger poses, it takes me a lot longer to do good poses or ones I'm happy with. And But if, if you're good at drawing dynamic poses, 
I swear you could learn how to animate real quick if you just follow the principles. But yeah, so now we have this smaller, I mean this taller dude, and we could even give him a sword. You can give him double sword. Give him a big old sword. Just kind of mess around with ideas. And maybe one pops out that we like. But nothing with the sword yet. Let's let's uh let's keep altering this guy. So we're gonna copy and paste him again and let's just keep altering. One twenty five viewers, wow. Pretty cool. Thank you for everyone showing up. I hope we can make a sweet character and animate them together. So let's just keep altering. Let's see what we can do with this dude. Make his cape slimmer. And sometimes you'll be surprised by how an alteration or making a variation, alterating a character can change, change its vibe so much. Let's copy and paste. Oops. Let's copy and paste this guy. Maybe we'll, since we're so, we're gonna merge these layers down and just kind of keep it all on the same. And maybe we'll do this guy a couple more times. Maybe we'll go back to this one. I don't think it's going in the right direction. Not going in the best direction, but let's, uh, let's move back a variation, which is okay. And that's the thing with, with character designs, sometimes it can be the most con time consuming part of it all. Um, especially if you're making a main character in your game, you want that character to be pleasing to look at in so many ways you want it to be pleasing to look at you want it to work well with animations you want it to fit in your game and so much more this guy's kind of cool i don't mind that Making them too complex makes it hard to animate. 100%. That is... That is 100% correct. And when you have too much um, noise, and noise would be like if you had so many different colors, if you were making armor, uh, let's just take this purple and then you start, you know, adding color here. You have two colors and that's kind of where I would, for this size of character, I would probably keep it at two. But when you start getting too much noise, say you add more darkness, say you add patch and this patch has colors in it this looks okay but when you start animating it will get harder and harder and 
this probably wouldn't be too difficult but you can see the more you add definitely the harder it's going to get to keep cons consistent and this is kind of cool keeping this purple i don't mind that oh i like that minor leg shift not bad not too bad This guy's looking kind of cool. Samurai robot. Samurai ro Samurais are always cool. But you can see when you start, like this sheet's going to be completely full. And we just started with this little tiny guy right here. And we're just... We're just going to keep trotting along. Like I said, I'm not going to put a full limit and any limit on this stream. Obviously, at some point, I, I'll need to leave and grab my son and, and do that stuff. But until then, he's in school. Until then... Yeah, we'll be here tomorrow still. Yeah, you can, you can really just go on and on with with these little designs i like this little dude he's kind of he's kind of cool let's uh use w and highlight this little chest in here and let's see if we can manipulate it a bit Like so, and the at this point I start thinking about I, th I start thinking about animation. And what did I do here? That color's not good. That looks decent. At this point, I start thinking about kind of I'm gonna go with the layer before after kind of like how is this character going to be animated what weapon will make him him or her even better and this could be you know some kind of Whole kind of staff. But out of all these, we've moved along, and I do like this this purple. How much do you adhere to uh, the color palette? If I'm work like, if I'm working on Shogun, I don't leave the color palette. Maybe I'll add a color. Here and there but most of the time all these colors are just in the palette um with the dark series i since the the main palette has has dark a light a blue green purple essentially and this brown it doesn't have many colors so i i add colors all the time pretty much but if i have a palette i try to stick to it How do you make money with pixel art? Um, I sign contracts and work on games mostly. Um, I also have my assets I sell on itch, itch.io. But if you're a pixel artist and you're working on a game, 
when you're working a a, a contract that's essentially your job that's a way you can make money But let's keep altering this dude. I kind of, ooh, I kind of like that even more. Undo, 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 undo. I kind of like that. I'm not crazy with the the hat. So let's uh maybe we'll do a face i think this is the same color tone so let's use that that's the dark kind of skin tone you using the dark series and that looks pretty cool grab that eye color Matthew, hello, hello. Daniel says, can you pixel art for a living? I, I pixel art for a living. So you definitely can. I know many others do. Like I said, I do pixel arts for games. I have contracts and my Patreon and itch.io. So that's kind of how I, I live off of, of pixel art. I kind of like this this kind of direction. This shirt might need to move over a bit, but let's copy and paste that. And if you're late to this show, basically, um, I started off doing some silhouettes after we gather some references and ideas. And I basically just took one of those. In this case, I took this first guy and we kind of just added some shading, some details, um, and slowly mo morphed into this character here. Any books or tutorials aside from yours that has helped you? Um, yes, I early on I watched a lot of Adam the Jonas, I think is how you say his name on YouTube. He's super smart. The way he explains everything is awesome. I recommend watching that and other random tutorials. Brandon James Greer. He's been great as well. Adam's Adam's definitely the GOAT. Adam's great. And Z, I do pixel art for a living, commissions, contracts. Z is is a pixel artist in the server. If you if you join the Discord server. Have you pixel art for any known game? I've done pixel art for Dome Keeper, that was pretty successful. Shogun Showdown, which is pretty successful, and my own game Bullet Bunny, which not as successful. And and I'm working on a game called Ram right now, and still doing work for Shogun Showdown. So those are kind of my main games and then a bunch of random commissions or games let's see how this this old hat looks not bad Let's keep manipulating these to perhaps get something. There. Maybe we'll, we'll go away with the, from the armor underneath. Have we been streaming for an hour already? 45 minutes? 45 minutes. Jogun Showdown is looks so good. 
Um, Shogun Showdown is really fun. I love it. I also love Dome Keeper. But uh, Bullet Bunny is the best because I made it. So 45 minutes. So this character has potential. But let's let's uh let's move on from this character for now. We can always come back, but let's uh let's start let's let's do this uh dude that potentially has a diving suit. Um let's go ahead and make this canvas a bit bigger. So we can a bit more space to work on. But yeah, once we do a bunch of designs, we're going to get a lot mo more. But once we finish these, we'll have to settle on one. And hopefully it's a, a good one. And we're going to take into consideration how the animations might look. Set all in one, impossible. <laughs> Pretty much impossible. It's it's difficult. I think the funniest. The funniest um, tutorial was that sci fi samurai on YouTube that I did. I think the first character I did because I was I was recreating an old um, character I, I had done. And the first one I did was just ended up being really cool. And I was like, I need, I need to just go with this one. No point in doing any more. And kind of a part of that tutorial, part of it was going to be like the character design, but it just kind of happened so fast and out of nowhere. So I kind of just went with it and it ended up being Quite a good tutorial overall. Tips on color picking for people with partial color blindness. Blindness. I resort to having my girlfriend tell me if the color palette looks all right. Um, resorting to your girlfriend's is a good idea. Using palettes that are pre-made by others might be good for sure z might have some some good tips on that so to me this guy's kind of looking More like an, a bad guy. A little bit like a welder. Hey, love your work, artwork. Thank you for joining and checking out the stuff. Anyone following along with Ben? Yeah, definitely. If you can follow along, make your own characters. I would love to see them at the end. Don't know why the overall shape reminds me of the Onion Knights from Dark Souls. It does. It does. It's a pretty cool character. Let's bring this up a shade.
Hi, can the video from the live stream be watched again? Because it's very late in my area. Yes, I'm going to leave it up. And I'm going to leave it up until all the episodes are done from this. Because we'll, the next episode will be animating one of these characters. And then the following one will be doing more animations and so on. And I'll leave all the streams up. Are you on Twitch? I am on Twitch. I am not doing dual streams right now. Maybe, perhaps, in the future. Let's, uh, this guy's actually really cool. I dig it. I dig it. But let's, uh, make some alterations to him. Let's see. See what we can do. Is it gonna trim it down? If we can make it more hero-esque, I think I think making a hero for this whole series is a good idea since it covers a lot of animations. So let's see what we can do. Thank you, sir. Good night. Good night, and thank you for jumping in as much as you can. If sleep is important, so I definitely like that. Imposter is among us. <laughs> yeah, kind of, kind of looking like an imposter. Definitely not giving hero vibes yet. Could be. And let's uh let's do see if we can add got a little sword now. <laughs> Scuba instructor. So, oh, what am I doing? So I think this is cool, but it probably won't be the one. So let's let's move along. Let's do let's make some silhouettes, like uh, with the Apollo palette, and do kind of like the pig assassin. Oh, I don't like when it's... Let's erase it all. Oops. Hitting buttons. Hitting all kinds of buttons. So let's delete all these. And paste. Oh, I keep hitting Control B. Instead of... Did I copy it correctly? I like when it's laid out like that. Control C, Control V. There we go. So now let's work on. We could even do a. Um, a different version of that pig assassin. I'm going to do some more silhouettes over here. I'm just going to start over um, on step one. even do like a thicker pig maybe with a with an axe sort of oh what happened to my palette get that back in there 
What game am I working on? This isn't for a game, but I am working currently I'm working on RAM, Random Access Mayhem, and Shogun Showdown, and my own little project called Bullet Bunny. Crab. Goose wants a crab. <laughs> yes, let's do a crab. Okay, let's look up some references for crab. Google Crab. I like this guy. I'll throw them on the on the pure ref sheet. Crab. We're going crab. We are going crab. This guy's kind of funky. I like this guy, so let's uh let's see him. Kind of like the purple. Incorporate the purple with the the orangey pink. So let's try this. Whip that back. What about a chicken? A chicken would be cool too. Let's do crab chicken. So crab, if you if we want to do a hero crab, it would be cool to somehow have his claws as the weapon. So I'm kind of just kind of gonna use colors to get. more of a foundation going so it's easier crab the crabs have like they have like a flattish kind of face what about a black sheep i do want to do a sheep so we'll do crab sheep and what was the other one chicken i think chicken would be funny Chicken warrior. Let's do let's do all of them. Kinda thinking about how to make the crab face really stand out. We want to Really get it all going. And this is using the Apollo palette. They have like a dark eyes, but I think I might go white. I know, white, but we can add some fabric. Like some kind of cloth. So blue would kind of complement the orange a bit. Let's try blue. And let's change this. Dark blue. Yeah, Stone Killer, see you later. See you. Thanks for joining. So yeah, unlike the first Dark Series kind of concepts we were doing, brainstorming, this will have more color. So if you're into more color, that's perfect. Maybe has some like dark brown boots. Boots. Cool. If 
Oh, he's wearing a suit. <laughs> let's uh, let's bring in a dark. What if you had like a chain too? Some kind of chain? Might be cool. Some kind of collar. Oh yeah, crab. This is what Goose has been waiting for. This crab. Crabs have like little things. Their eyes kind of pop out, eh? Let's try. Let's uh, let's start making alterations. Let's try where the eyes are kind of popped out a bit. That's like crusty, you know, crusty's eyes. SpongeBob. Looking more like an orange frog. Maybe we'll move and in a bit. And as you can see, character designs can be very chaotic at times. But we're getting somewhere. Sometimes you don't come out with anything. It'd be cool to kind of have a sword in its hand somehow. Let's try a variation with a sword in its hand. kind of close maybe sword something like that perhaps that mouth isn't doing it for me That's kind of that's kind of crab. That's kind of crabby vibes. What that mouth do? <laughs> I don't mind his all eyes. He's getting somewhere. Color like that, kind of cool. Um, maybe we can give like gold kind of look to it.
He's looking better, crab people. <laughs> We're just making crabs. Vince in disguise was able to catch another stream. Awesome. Thank you for joining. Pleasure. 94 still. We we were at 125. I what was the peak? David, hi Ben. You were great. Thank you. Thank you for the kind words. A chef's hat. A chef hat would be cool. A chef hat would also be cool for animations. Perhaps we could make it like bounce. Might need to make his eyes a different color with a chef hat though. Unless we do his eyes lower. Kind of funky. Let's actually, let's do this. That color and want that color so we can have some, maybe a highlight here. Like so. Looks like he was wearing a pot to pot to me. Green suit? Yeah, we can try a green suit. Um, let's do an alteration. That's uh take the sword away. Tell me, Johnson, I'm in a meeting, can't listen, but is that a bubble on his head? That is supposed to be a chef's hat. But I kind of like these eyes better. Chef's hat. But he's looking real funny. But I say we move on to a sheep potentially. Or the chicken. The chicken was kind of funny. Let's do uh yeah, he's he's a funny character. He's quite funny. Let's do let's see chicken. I have some um, I think I have funny ideas for a chicken. Again, let's do a silhouette.
Try some tall legs. Probably look up reference for a chicken as well. But I think right away I'm thinking about thinking of Family Guy, kind of that that red. And a lot like red hanging down. Something like that. This is quite the rough. And his legs would be like that. Chicken could be funny. Hero chicken. Quite cute. How could we make... We could always... Like maybe just a little tie. Lou? Little tiny blue tie, maybe. What about a, like a Ninja Turtle? Ninja Turtle mask? He's, he's quite, I'm going to merge all these layers. Oops. Oh, God. Rename it, man. Oops, caps locks up. Main layer. Let's explore the chicken a bit. Let's take away the swords. Love from India. Thank you, FTR Studio. Thanks for joining. Like this chicken. Kind of cool. Kind of like them. Kind of, kind of digging the chicken, guys.
<laughs> Chicken boss, but does it balk? Probably. He's a balker. But yeah, you definitely get carried away with random things. What if we gave him a big... I know chickens don't have yellow hands, but it might be good to He's, this this character is pretty funny. I like it. I like it. Let's uh let's bring get the color. Wonder if we can bring the oops this one down so we can get a couple of colors here. Kind of give a kind of like white better though. But he's cool. Bullet Bunny too. Revenge of the Chicken. Yeah, he could definitely be in Bullet Bunny. So he could be fun to animate. Budgie. <laughs> Budgie would be cool too. Budgies are so cool. Um, what was it? Oh, sheep. I wanted to do a sheep. A sheep would be funny too. But let's, uh, let's make some more variations of this dude. Loving this stream, homie. Thank you, Davis. Because for animations, I think like a gun is probably not the way to go. I think for feature streams, animating a weapon would be a lot more fun. And interesting because guns are kind of, you know, like a bullet bunny. I just use one single frame with the gun. Toad or crocodile? There really is a crab. <laughs> It'll be hard to choose what we want to animate at the end of this. What if we just went crazy and did a lightsaber because that would be fun to animate Let's uh, put a background in all this. See where we're at with the background. I 
I'm going to copy and paste that lightsaber, and then I'm going to go um, addition. Then I'm going to hit R. Quick little a lightsaber test. Yeah. So thinking about animations, because I'm I'm kind of in, in my head. I'm in that stage because I, I I want the the streams to be like the animation wise to be real fun. So maybe, maybe we'll chill with the the chicken for now. Let's uh, what's we do a sheep or let's do I had an idea for. Kind of redoing the Blood King. Cause Blood King is cool character pack I did a while ago. And it was quite popular. So I think redoing that could be a fun thing to do as well. So let's redo character design of the Blood King. And we'll start with the silhouette. Let's get the original palette back like so have you ever created an inventory hud uh yes but mine are pretty simple like they're just the way i do ui and in HUD stuff is so simple. It's basically just like stylized low detail. Blood bloodier king. <laughs> the bloodier king. So let's do some. Well before before let's uh let me go pee and we'll be right back. I made a be right back scene. Let's try it out. Okay, we're back. So let's do this bloodier king. Because I think it would also be cool, as much as doing these guys would be cool, sticking to more so to my style. 
um, overall viewers would enjoy it more. And I think that's a good idea. So the bloodier king. Let me bring up the blood king. Be blood king. So this was the original blood king. So maybe we'll do one. But it's going to have... Gonna be cooler, more badass. Hopefully. But I think it would be a really fun kind of idea. So we're just gonna mess around with mainly silhouettes. Mainly silhouettes for this dude. How would you make a 2D mech? Um, I would... With mechs, I kind of start off with a uh, locking kind of squares, say. Like, say, you block off, a, start with, like, the body, and then you start locking them together. So this is more like a kind of like a crab walking mech. And then I would just like slowly bring it all together. And once you start adding kind of wires underneath. So I, I would start with like blocking like that for a mech. And eventually, like, you're happy with kind of a silhouette of that mech, you can start bringing it together and adding small details. And details for mechs are more kind of sci-fi computers. They're kind of cool because there's so many different little little details you can do Edwin hello hey thanks for joining just doing small things until until you start to really like the design but like most things it's important to you know Kind of have your reference kind of the style you want to get but let's go back to the blood king let's move this guy oops move him up here because we want to by the end of the stream we want to pick a guy we want to animate so far in my head i like kind of like Something around here. Simple. Simple. But, um, I think the animations will really suit my style. The chicken's also pretty cool.
Let's start bringing in some... Shading to this dude? Do some alterations. I don't think I'm crazy with that face. This guy's he, he's looking I don't like the mask. But potential, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, kind of look like a gas mask fly. Interesting. It's cool. It's kind of scary. I could even make him a, a flying character. Say a few. Gave him some. Wings. <laughs> Little mosquito wings. A little more detail. That could be funny. Let's mess around. Let's mess around with kind of pose a bit more. Get it more, a little more intimidating, maybe. Not sold on the mask or the head. But one thing with animations, I 
think having something on the back is is a cool idea to always explore. But yeah, it's one thing about designing a character. If you're doing commissions, I would do the design phase, like your highest, like, or not your highest, but a large portion of the revenue. Say if you typically spend, you know, hours on the design phase, and once you get that design good, and they're happy with it you could animate it fairly quickly i would i would i would make that design phase i would be like hey this is how much i charge for the design say it's 100 bucks for the design phase make that clear because especially if you're trying to get someone else's vision it can be tricky you can all you can have uh, you know, X amount of alterations as well, so it doesn't drag on. But I, I usually say you have. I haven't done commissions in a while. I'm back. Hey, thank you. Tell the Blood King maybe a red crown. How's how we go? We're, we're going. We've made some interesting characters making progress hopefully it's still gonna be hard to choose one of these characters I do think maybe a crown would be would be interesting maybe this this silhouette is not the way Kind of, I think I want creepy. I think I want, I'm going to go creepy kind of style. Maybe like an old knight and a look. Kind of looking creepier. sword might thinking about animation and this having the sword having the sword and I leave a trail of blood might be cool
cool to have some kind of cloth that we can animate on top. Interesting question. If I'm working with a 16 bit pixel density, then how big should a character sprite be? Um, you mean like if you're working in a 16 by 16 square, how big th should the sprite be? Like, are you allowed to go outside of that square? Is that what you're asking? I'm kind of digging. Yeah. It, there's no, like, set rule on it. But they, this guy is in a 16 by 16 square. I usually don't go outside. Of, I mean, I usually don't limit myself to those boundaries. I will go way outside if I have to. That's just me. I know sometimes like games will have limits where you can't go out. That does make things a lot more difficult. But I never, I never limit myself. I like to be free. I'm digging this Blood King though. Pretty cool, I'd say. I like this. I think this could be kind of badass. Um, do you think that drawing takes a lot of time and it's better to write code and hire an artist? I like doing. I like doing everything. I find it. I like drawing. I like doing. The game design. I even want to do the music for my games one day. I enjoy doing everything. How long? How has the stream been going for an hour and 45? Been, yeah, nuts. Time flies. And there's a peacock and you gotta let him fly. <laughs> So I think, I don't know, what do you, what do you guys, so far, we're not going to end it, we're going to do more, but so far, what do you want to animate? Let me know. Crab. Crab is getting some love. Maybe chicken. Mecca <laughs> skateboarding so chickens get in love everyone wants the chicken eh <laughs> okay let's move back to the chicken samurai from the set yeah I like so so I like Maybe this dude. We would need to give him a uh, weapon of some sort. This guy is also cool. The chicken I really like. We could have, I think someone mentioned, I think Sean mentioned a melee weapon.
good chicken impression. Buck, buck. <laughs> so. Yeah, chicken, chicken is cool. I actually like the chicken. I think chicken has potential. I think we could do a, a good run animation. Also, I think you could do like wall slides, roll. And we could do, we could do, we could do a lot. So I'll post in the Discord after which one when we when we finally settle. But uh, let's do some more. Let's see what I have. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. One thing. Where do I put it? Yeah, what should we name them? We could, it would definitely name them. Once we pick whoever it is, we name them. How do you settle on character for animating anyway? Yeah, I'll do I'll do a Discord poll. I think that's the best way. But I also want to make sure like we can get like if we pick chicken, I know we can do a pretty cool roll. We can do slide. Um, wall grab, maybe wall climb, jump fall. Do it. We could do a cool kind of shot and do VFX with it. Uh, maybe like, maybe we'll do some kind of weapon on his back that he uses. Baseball bat. That'd be funny. Yeah, <laughs> hides in an eggshell, that'd be cool. Spawn animation. <laughs> so that has a lot. This guy is also, he's more true to my style, but I guess like this is Bullet Bunny-esque. So that could work as well. But he's not a chicken, that's correct. We could always chicken fire him. More cute your style. <laughs> but yeah, so chicken's getting love. I should probably put these and I put these so I don't accidentally write over them draw draw over them get back and we'll do some more variation because everyone seems to like the chicken so let's Let's dive into the chicken a bit more. So 
So which chicken is the question now? Chickenator. So one thing I do when I'm I can't figure out what I want to decide on, I'll do some some poses. See if I end up liking the poses. And this is easier when you separate all the layers and everything already. But we didn't do that. So I'm going to make some poses that I think might be cool to kind of showcase. You can see a lot from a pose. So we'll mess around kind of with the direction of this. Not the best pose. I think... I would change this a bit. More like that. I'm gonna be right back. I'm just gonna have a quick bite of something. And then I'll be right back. And we'll tackle some more chicken poses.
We're back. We're refueled and ready to tackle some more chicken poses. I was very curious <laughs> which direction this would go. Um, and I didn't pin chicken as being one of them. So that's like a cool, that's a cool slide. So let's do... Maybe a jump pose. Kind of the platformer essentials, you could say. A pen is the palette used for stranded available anywhere. Uh, I started with a palette. I can figure out the name for you. I started with a palette, but I basically just add colors to it and it's not the original palette. I can, I can share it as well in the discord, but the original, there was, <laughs> Rebel you. There was a a original palette I used, but it definitely is not that palette anymore. But there are still some colors. Probably like the the ground is it's from the original, so a lot of the key colors are still there. So the bag might be lower on this, on the jump. I'd probably do the gun kind of on a plant. Clean it up a little bit. Probably do something like that. Which looks pretty, pretty badass. And this would be more so. Flapping violently. Maybe for animation I would make it a tad shorter. Just cause the longer you do these kind of like bands or flags especially like at high speeds when he's falling it'll be quite violent which I, I actually <laughs> funny I was practicing kind of windy flags the other day and the longer the headband the cooler yeah <laughs> but I was practicing windy flags just because but it might be kind of like this one. Maybe even this one.
So I have something to look at while we animate. If the chicken is the winner. If it's not the winner, we'll have some chicken dinner. <laughs> so I think something, if we choose to animate the chicken, we need to figure out the weapon. And we want it to be something, something cool, something that will, you know, really stand out. At least big bonky hammer, yeah. Or a baseball bat. I feel like a baseball bat kind of suits this character. We could have a baseball bat in the bag or something. A wrench? Yeah, a wrench would be cool too. Like we could do a... Melee... Kind of hit with the gun as well, like... We can... Make this a kind of hitting pose. This is the hitting pose. You have a. Uh... Let's do. I like to use the ellipse tool on a different layer. And then you do. Oop, that's the layer we use for the lightsaber. I like to do that. That one was best, so let's do it again. We will then copy it, make it a, oops, different color. And we take that red and we delete it. And look at that. Smooth, smooth little attack thing. So that melee would be cool. Nothing. Hello, nothing. If you're joining now, these are all the characters we've kind of went through. Oh, I haven't saved it yet, eh? Might want to save it. Yeah, the stream will be uploaded after. We could do... What if we did a blade on the gun? What if there was a... A... 
a get the Apollo palette back. What about like a little knife? That might be cool. Is it kind of like a weapon? I think that might be cool. Baseball bat. Maybe we do a baseball bat as well. We'll see how smooth the animations go. But I think, I feel like the chicken we have to animate now. He could be so cool. Any tips for beginners? Tips for beginners? I would follow tutorials. I would practice but don't don't overdo yourself don't uh get burnt out i would just do little things be like okay i want to make a little chicken today let's spend an hour doing a chicken and and you can do that um join join communities like it's so good to talk to people and ask for advice and like Mossy said, do pixel dailies. You can't find any inspiration. So let's break down what this bag would be cool to animate. If we added a little string, that would also be cool. And the bag would bounce up and down. So we could we could make alterations now to the bag. Just kind of make it more aesthetically pleasing to look at, hopefully. Just thinking of brainstorming ideas. Maybe make them look a little, little cooler. Maybe ropes around them. But that will be blocked a lot of the time by the gun. Question from a fellow artist. If you were to start over building asset packs, what subject matter would you start with? Uh, I would do what I enjoy, which is probably along the same lines as what I did. That's how I started making assets to begin with. I was just doodling and I didn't really have anywhere to put them. Um, I wasn't good at making games at that time so I just like uploaded a pack for free and people were interested and wanted more and I just started making more and kept doing things I liked and what I like is sci-fi and dark darker weirder stuff and apparently chickens 
Chickens with with guns. Dark, weird, sci-fi, cyberpunk chickens. Thank you, I've been dabbling with the idea. Yeah, make sure, whatever you do, make sure you enjoy it. And I think if, if you go along the asset pack route, doing things that are less time consuming, so smaller resolution, I think was a good thing I picked. And I, for some reason, I just like the style. The more detailed, larger sprites, the, it's once it once it hits a point for me I, I still like it like so much good pixel art um but i just love the low res style i don't know if it's because i grew up with it but it's like my favorite what about non-pixel art you for sure you could do some i don't i don't know the ins and outs of non-pixel art but I'm sure if you did some aesthetically pleasing non-pixel art, it would people would want it and download it and pay for it potentially. Smaller resolution is probably more appealing to larger audience. I would agree. I think if you're in that 16 by 16, 24, 32 by 32 range, most pixel assets are in that range. And you can kind of pick and choose from some. Some might work well together. So they'll they'll buy from both. I think if you're making larger, even if you get to, you know, up in the 70, 80, 90, you're pretty your assets will be pretty big and there's not a lot of big assets just because they're so much more time consuming. Like these are time consuming as it is to design and animate a character it's not always the quickest like we've been i know we've been chatting but this is two and a half hours and i think we're gonna animate a chicken that's just what i think but yeah non-pixel art would be cool too I've, I've always been interested in it, but I'm kind of like fully swamped most of the time lately. So what was I doing with this guy? Oh, he's working on this bag. I think that bag... Cool. What about his eye? Be fair, this is pretty huge for two and a half hours. I'd probably still be trying to get something usable out of the silhouette phase. <laughs> Murder chicken, red eye, yeah. So I think he's got a lot of things. Like when he runs, you're gonna see this flap bouncing. I think this bouncing might be overkill because we have the the um, bandana going in the wind. So I think that might be overkill. But he definitely, I like this attack, it looks cool. The jump is cool, the slide is cool. Like I think we're gonna have to do this. This character and we're gonna make him real juicy and smooth so for everyone left in the streams we still got 53 which is cool I think for the test stream we had 53 was our peak but for those left what's everyone vote who, who do you vote chicken blood king Crab, uh, scuba diver, this guy.
you already know pen <laughs> Has to be chicken at this point. I think I think the chicken we have to animate no matter what. Let's do some color variations of the chicken for fun. What color is a chicken? One thing for animation too, his little red flappy thing. I don't even know what that is. What's that called? Could flap to the side to side. So I think having that string on the back would be too would be overkill. Is you'll have the gun bouncing. Um, you have this flapping, the bag bouncing, and then his gobbler. I don't know, yeah, his gobbler will be flapping as well, potentially. This orange kind of looks better now. <laughs> Let's do a uh, chicken's brother. Lanky. Talking and stork. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's the Ninja Turtle colors? We've got purple, red, orange, and. Okay, we're doing we're doing Ninja Turtles. Has to be done.
I'm in the, I'm in the grind mode right now. Getting these chickens done. Chicken ninjas. Looks like the chicken pack is now official. That's right. <laughs> This guy's feeling, he's feeling a little bit bare, though. What if he's so badass he wears a barbed wire necklace? Maybe he has. Yeah. Pistol is cool. Pretty cool. They look pretty badass. Cluck and cluck. Chicken mercs. These are pretty badass mercenaries. Now I feel like I need to make the rest. What if he has a tie? Munch, hello! How's it going? Thanks for joining. Like he's funny, he looks like he's wearing a tuxedo or something. I uh, got two names, see? <laughs> what about if this guy's a little... A little bit more on the crazy side.
With a shovel? Yeah, a shovel would be cool. Munch says, dude, you are so damn cool. I just hired at Ace Bright. Served my first character tutorial. The tutorial for sword swinging was really useful. And your character inspired me to re redesign my character. Sweet. Currently in the process. Sweet. Join the Discord. And if you are comfortable enough, you can definitely drop it in there. And we can take a look. Yeah, so for those, if anyone did follow along and we want to dive into some of your characters, um, let me know if you post it in the Discord and I will grab them. shovel looks <laughs> Mohammed yeah you could you could forward me personal private message yeah go for it Looks like he's looking at a telescope. Kind of want to do all. Want to do the chickens, teenage mutant ninja chickens. What about a? Delete that. It's kind of big. I don't know about this one. I don't know about this one, guys.
slightly darker chicken beak. There. <laughs> bazooka. We need a bazooka for him. Okay, let's do it. Let's try a bazooka. <laughs> well, what, he's he's not as good as he's not as good as Lanky and what was this one Stork? He's not as good, but you mean he's perfect? <laughs> the gang is almost complete. Oops, what am I doing? Copy paste. Oh. Let's flatten. Oops. The gang's cooking. The gang is cooking. Gonna take a quick leak. So who do we wait? I'm gonna take a leak, but who do we have left? Just Raphael, red guy. That's the red guy.
Okay, I'm gonna be, be right back in. Okay, we're back. Chickens are looking badass. How do you open the hue saturation menu? Control U. Just control and then U. And then you can toggle in here. Do the last one. We'll put them in the, the Discord, sweet. Dual pistols. I don't know. When are we gonna look? We can we can start now. Anyone is probably the most dangerous one. <laughs> yeah. We can look at others' work. I'm gonna jump in the Discord now. Dual daggers? Yeah, and then I'll jump in the Discord.
What about those like uh food chopping things? Run a little bit of blood on them. Cleaver. Okay, let's let's <laughs> let's chickens are taking away everything. Okay, let me open up the Discord. So let's uh see if you haven't and drop them in the discord yet join and let's see the characters made oh i see some in art showcase oh these are dope that's a and this isn't i don't like critiquing this is mainly just the showcase um, everyone's art and they look pretty badass so far so let's uh check them all out Okay, so I see three so far. If you've posted yours and I don't have it up yet, just let me know. But yeah, so this first one is by Z. Oh, I like this little dude here. And even this, it's like a creepy little assassin. I love it. I like both these wizards a lot. I like this dude. I like all these poses too. Z Z always kills it. I like I like how you always have the hand kind of like over here. It's a nice nice little pose. Oh, these are cool. This is a full game here. You got the hero. Hero runs around killing these these monsters, you got the creepy witch dudes. And Sweet Stuff by Z. I, I like these monsters too. You could do some cool animations with these. Sweet Stuff Z, thanks for sharing. And this next one, I think this is Ace. Let me double check. Yeah, this is Ace. I like, I like these gas mask dudes. These are sweet. Great stuff, Ace. Again, this could be like a mini game right in itself. You got the hero and then you got this creepy Creepy gas mask, dude. It's very clean. Love it. Great stuff. And this last one. Is by. Where'd it go? So I'm, I'm in streaming mode. I can't see the names, but it says D dot dot dot. So who? Let's see the chat. Who starts with D? I can't see the name on the Discord while I stream. Unless I go to streamers. Let me. I'll disable it. Dude, Hoof Mackie. Dude's Hoof Mackie. This is by Dude, and I really like these mechas. With the chicken. <laughs> mm. 
This is sweet. Here, let's bring... We gotta bring the chicken to the chicken gang. It's perfect. That's awesome. That's so fun. <laughs> I love it. And these guys are cool too. I like the little spikes and everything you've done here. But the chicken bot, the chicken mech is the best. All cool, great stuff. And I think we have... Munchin Dragon 6 has something too. I'll bring it in. Oh, and there's more over here. But I think, I think Burger Bear. I don't know if he's in the stream, so I won't share that. Just, just in case. So here we have Munchin Dragon 6 with a lovely design. This is could jump right into a stardew value type what resolution most of these resolutions are pretty small it's a pirate dude oh i love it what it munching munch yeah let's i'm gonna see if i can make this smaller I can twenty five. That should be oops. I think that's normal size. Fifty percent, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's normal size. Oh, took out his eyes. Okay. I like it. I like it. The eyes, I kind of ruin. I kind of ruin the eyes on you. But I think some ways to we could potentially improve are doing the like I mentioned at the beginning of the stream. So you might have missed it. Taking one side and doing. We'll do it manually, so we can kind of. Let's separate all these shades and see how that looks. Might not look better. Oops. And this isn't this isn't necessarily better. This is I think more towards my style. But styles definitely have their their looks. And let's bring up a here, let me I'm gonna search Stardew Value. What's it called? Stardew Valley? Sprite? Yeah. 
Yeah, this is like more along Stardew, which is, is super cool style. I think I would... I'm just gonna make this all base color. Maybe bring the hand down a bit. Actually, this hand I'm gonna put behind the dude. And let's do one. Darker color over here. Let's get one lighter color. Let me see. Got an idea? We will take all of this. Yep, the stream VOD will be up as well afterwards. Let's do a color for darker color for the skin. A bit, maybe a bit orangier. Not bad. The the shading window. Yeah, that's a script. Uh, Mossy posted it in the in the Discord. We can we can link it to you. But yeah, that's kind of how I might approach it a little bit. But I do like this character. I think I maybe take away that that line there. And then I'm going to make the hair all one color and maybe add just a couple. Highlights like that. And is this so I, I try to use I try to avoid the um darkest black color, zero zero zero. And we can just get off contiguous. 
Let's change it all. But let's see the difference. Pretty cool. Let's see what we can do with with uh maybe make this a little brighter. Maybe maybe like so. But it's like his chest more so. And maybe one last finishing finishing touch. Maybe not. But you could just have some little trinkets in his belt. Might be overkill though. But maybe I'm just I'm just kinda having fun now. Maybe a cool little belt. And you can maybe shade half of that. But yeah, let's see. I dig it maybe maybe we do one lighter color with this on the arm i think i already tried that but yeah that looks pretty cool I can munch I can I can send you this if you want um barrel that's an extension that mossy uh, linked in the discord discords pinned the top of this comment box but yeah um someone else someone else asked me to go over their stuff? Where was that? Oh, I can't scroll up in the chat. Yes, I can send it to you for sure, Munch. Um, I swear someone asked, someone else asked if I could go over. Oh, Mohammed, can you review my character? Oh, Mohammed, do you want me to do it? On stream or no I can do it on stream if you want <laughs> I love this mech chicken so good Blob motions. Review mine. I'm the... Yeah, the chicken one I just closed. Okay, let's bring it back up. Copy. Um... 
new. Dude. Any more posted in this? I don't think so. But yeah, I'll send that to you much after the stream. Don't mind if you open it up on. on yep, I can open it up. And then Scar, how do you submit a character? Just throw it in the Discord on on a art showcase and I can Throw it on stream if you want. Oh, I got another one, Molly, on the... Okay, this is a minor. By Pa. There's a good one. So I think that's all of them. So we'll go over this. Z's stuff is cool. Z, I can always give. I don't even think you need feedback. Your stuff is sick. Ace, your stuff is also sick. It's all sick. Um, this was Munchkin. Munchkins. A munch. Munchin pumpkin. Pumpkin? You know who I'm talking about. Um, okay, this is Dude. Dude asked me to review. So let's. Let's do it. Do I need to upscale it? No, don't upscale it, because I can just put it in my A sprite and then it's regular size. So blob motions, dude. I love this is just a cool, cool robot. I can I don't even know like I would change much maybe the wires here make those a bit darker um like you, you did the shading on this side all good and the chicken's good too I think one thing we could do to really spice it up too is uh, add some kind of like buttons, lights, lights on it. Maybe an antenna. <coughs> Munch, I shall go to sleep. Thanks for joining Munch. But this Antenna would be cool if it was uh, walking around. This one over here we could make a bit darker. Oops. Let's see. But overall, I, I really like everything you've done with it. But just minor things to make it look like it has a little bit more depth. Yeah, seeing these an animated would be pretty cool.
But yeah, I like... I like it. Let's uh, mo let's go to one of your characters up here. Yeah, I'm just picturing this thing animated. It'll look real fun. And this guy here. Just like it all. I think this could be animated cool too. You could we could make it a little more oops. Easy easy to read, I guess you could say. But I like this. Your blue is pretty cool. And these spikes are real cool as well. And if this sword comes... Back there... Would be pretty cool. I'm just seeing how he looks with uh, less detail as well. I like this bandana type thing you have going on as well. But really cool. Be cool to even do like a... Kind of like a gold. We're just kind of messing around with the, your design. This character's cool though. It gives off that eerie kind of vibes. But super cool. Um, blob motion. And the miner. Now, I forget who sent this, so check my. This is by Paw. Oh, well. Let's see the idol. I like. Let's see the run. And the death that's from the stranded. Couple new ones in the channel too. Okay, I'll get to it. So this is pretty cool. Let's see the IO. We go up. Hands go up, down, down, up. Go up, hands go up, down, hands go down with the body. And I think perhaps we could do the oh, nice, nice layer use. I like that. So I won't tackle animations too much because we can open this one up um, in the next stream as well. And if you want to follow with it, because I'll, I'll tackle kind of like the idle. We're going to do the idle and run next, next uh, episode. And we're going to do like kind of my, my guideline for idols and everything. 
like this is pretty close, but it will give you a few tips on just how to clear, clean up some areas. And same with the run. And it, this run is good. You got four frames. And I think if you literally just did another four, but with those four frames, if you just moved everything over, it would be perfect. So if we just did this, say the hat comes over. And then this hand might come this side a bit. Let's say that's over it. And then this hand here comes this way. And then the neck and every the minor necklace comes this way. So let's see the difference. So it's kind of just a tilt. And also tilt its clothing. And then some of this kind of goes. So it kind of looks like it's going to the side. And we'll we'll cover we'll cover that a lot more in the next episode. Since it, since there's a lot of submissions, let's uh let's go back to focusing on that. And this is another one that will have a lot of animations. This character looks cool. Who is this from? Let's double check. This is by from Molly. Mally. Oh, Mohammed. This is Mohammed. So let's let's check him out, Mohammed. Idle, turn around. Oh, the run looks great. The run looks very good. Rundown is perfect. I wouldn't change anything about the rundown. You have one, two, six frames, so that's good. A good amount. If you want more bounce, you could, on the landing frame, so you could, when it hits the ground, goes, and you could take all of these. I know work because I don't know these layers very well. Oh yeah, there's a lot of So I'm just gonna flatten everything because you have the original file. But you could go to eight frames and we could add a new frame here. And then Very confusing. No, don't say sorry. It's it's really good how you or how you labeled everything and everything's organized. That's how you want it. But just for quickness in this stream, I'm just going to flatten it so I can just add a frame and then then go from there. This might not this might not look good, but let's just see how it looks with a extra little. Oh, I think I did the wrong frame. Did the wrong. So we want that there. This one here. Okay, let's see now. A little more bounce. I should have kept the original. Let's uh let's make this the OG one. Let's take out those frames and let's see the difference. So the original, which I, I th still think is pretty much perfect for the for this style, 
It looks great. It looks like it's running. But if you want more bounce, which doesn't necessarily look better, especially in this style, I think yours looks good. But let's check out the rest. Run right, run up, looks great. Run left. Idle up. Take damage, take damage, all good. Dash looks good, I like that. This is great stuff though. I like... I like the style. I think you could make the left and right a little bit... Um, more tilted, you could say. Let's see, let's see. So it goes from there. It's not bad. Well, I think maybe, maybe what's throwing me off a little bit is the eyes move over and the hair and everything isn't moving over. So I think if you just shift some of that over. Oh. Yeah, I think if you shift the head over with the eyes, because I see the eyes shifting, but the hair and everything isn't, isn't. If you shift those over and like Z said, I think if you make the legs go left and right instead of up and down, it would look even better. But you nailed the run down and the run up. And everything else looks good. I think just your left and right, I would do those small tweaks. And it would look, it would look perfect. So let's, oh, here's the, here's more animation. So base attack. Bro, so let's look at one of these attacks. Let's do, look at the down. Yeah, let's focus on let's just pick one and these look good i think depending on your game you could do a few things you could add more anticipation frames for this you can see here it builds up i'm gonna go to the sword here it builds up and then it comes Builds up like that. So I think if we build it up. But this is all depends on your game, but I think a little bit more anticipation with it. Turn on onion skin would look real good here. And your your smear frame looks good, but I'm just gonna take it away just for a second. And we'll add just a temporary kind of see how that looks. But oh, I, I should have kept the original. 
but that just gives it a little more quickness and speed. And you could also add a um, little bit of the effects with this afterwards. But yeah, if you if you check out the smooth pixel top down attack tutorial, it's everything I would explain to you right now. But this looks great. You could even give some more um, on the anticipation. You can give some more head movement as well. That sells a lot. Even on the swing when it comes down, you can move the head. Like, I know this is gonna look off. But I don't know, I don't understand the frames right now, but you can see here the little head. Oh, I'm blocking on the chat. You can see the the head movement helps sells it a lot as well. And instead of moving to the right, you can move back. So it's kind of like building with the wind up. But that just gives it a little more oomph. So I'll move on since it's pushing. Are we pushing four hours? Okay, I'll wrap. I'll wrap this up. Um, no worries, no worries. Thanks for joining and thanks for posting. Let me check out a couple more. I gotta save this one for. Munch. Save those ones. Um, Dan, the assassin scar. Okay, I'll, I'll check out these couple last ones. Then we can call it call it a day. So this was from Dan, the assassin. I like this character. I like the shading you've done. There's not much I don't like about it. Everything's real cool. Oh, sorry, Dan. I didn't know if you if you wanted me to or not check it on stream, but if you're okay with it, I am checking it on stream. But I like this. I like your character, the idea, the colors. Pretty much everything about it. And this might not... This might not be better or anything, but... Just messing, just messing around with it. But I dig your character. How you got here looks great too. I see you did a lot of silhouettes. This is pretty much how you get a really cool character design, which you, which you did. I like this green on the poncho.
Doing the, maybe doing like a little patch on the poncho would be cool too. But this is really cool. I could see this being a character in a game. Yes, it's really cool. Thanks, Dan. Thanks for the feedback. Never did much pixel art before. I never tried this silhouette technique. Thanks for making the stream. You're welcome. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. Um, I like that character a lot. And this is Scar. So this, I think this is his upscaled version. I think he sent a couple. Not upscaled. Okay, I'm gonna open the not upscaled one. Scar, I'm sorry I didn't separate the body parts. Maybe why I'm struggling with the idle animation. Yeah, it probably a big reason, but you can definitely um, separate them after. But I like, I like your design. Let's uh, make a new frame. And again, I, um, I would avoid using this um, pure black color. But I, I really like your overall design here. I think it's a cool concept. Let's, uh, let's add some shading to it. I'm just going to take the Apollo palette, kind of help us a little bit. But really, really cool. If you separate these uh, these uh, layers, it will make your life. Yeah, I can send you the file after. It will make your life a lot easier. But yeah, I like the overall the overall um, feel of this character. I think just by adding a little bit more <coughs> depth to the colors, it could go a long way. I'm just gonna oops make the canvas a little bit bigger. change this hand maybe trim down this side a bit Yeah, this, I actually, I agree. I really dig this character. I feel like it has potential for some, some kind of shooter, shoot 'em up game. 
I'm gonna make the gun. Maybe stand out a bit more. Kind of looks more like a shotgun. I don't know what exactly you're aiming for, but. <laughs> I do like this, uh, the knee pad type things. I don't know if they're knee pads, but these patches just add a little bit of, bit of coolness to it. But this is this is cool. Let's uh So, I think let's look at the before and after. Well, let's do a cool. Sometimes Sometimes getting like backgrounds. Oh yeah, I like that placement. Add a little bit more detail on the shotgun. Okay, let's wrap this one up. This this is a cool character. I just kind of got a little bit into it.
So this would be next week if you join Scar. We'll go over the idol and it will for sure help. So this is the before and kind of the after. A bit more dynamic pose. I really dig the character. I will save this for you, for you Scar. I think you said you wanted it. Um. It's my first time popping in. Love the energy and the vibe and the artwork. Cheers. Thank you, Christian. Means a lot. So we just hit four hours. So this was fun. And we made chickens. And we'll be animating a chicken. I'll do a poll, but I think I think I want to do the, the chicken now. I think everyone in the stream wanted the chicken. So the chicken will probably win. So... Thank you for everyone who joined. Thank you for everyone who stuck around. We'll be ending the stream. Bye everyone. See you around. See you next week. Next week is Wednesday at 11. Take care everyone.